Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Boots One Stop Shop. This is Crystal, the owner, of course. And this is day 13, take two. YouTube blocked my first video because I was playing a playlist in it. I guess they didn't like that. So, don't again. <laughs> so, today's topic is motivation. What's your motivation? What makes you get up out your bed every day and go chase the money? Are you working a nine to five? Are you an entrepreneur? Do you have a whole lot of side hustles? What's your motivation? What you doing it for? That's what it comes down to. What are you doing it for? You doing it for yourself? You doing it for your children? You doing it for retirement? What's your motivation? Is it greed? Is it money? Is it to help people? What's your motivation to get off your behind and get to the money every day? What is it? My motivation is simple. My daughter, my son, and my deceased mother. My motivation is to make them proud each and every day of the week. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I probably haven't lately. But this year, we're gonna change that. 2020 was a rough year for everybody. A lot of people lost family members due to COVID. People lost their jobs. People are now homeless, hungry. We're about to have a whole new president in, what, seven days? <laughs> so... We all got to have a new motivational strategy. A lot of us are sliding into entrepreneurship, but what is your motivation to be an entrepreneur? If you don't like to work, you ain't got no effort strategy. You're not going to make it. If you don't have time management, you're not going to make it. So what is your motivation to make money? What's your motivation to get out of bed every day, every day? Are you going to a nine to five? Are you working for yourself? Are you working? Are you contracted to somebody else? What is your motivation? Because without motivation... You got nothing. To be honest with you, unmotivated people end up depressed, end up sad, end up wallowing in their sorrows and their defeats and their failures. They don't see it as a lesson. They don't see it as, oh, I should be learning something from this, apply that, and keep moving. If you're unmotivated, it's going to show. Your business won't grow. Your techniques will be stagnant. So right now, today, when you figure out what your motivation is, what is it that you want to do? Why is it that you want to do it? What are you willing to sacrifice to make it happen? Because I'm telling y'all, unmotivated people, they stagnant. So this year, once you get your notebook, your planner, whatever you write down in, write out your goal list, make a vision board, reevaluate your circle, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends. If they aren't motivating you to be successful, cut ties. You can speak. You can message them, text them. Don't hang with them. Because that type of mindset, it rubs off. Go hang out with like-minded people. You ain't got to cut your original circle off, but just don't hang with them as often. 
Because see, motivated people stay with motivated people. See what I'm saying? Right now, I watch a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of people on Instagram. Because all of them are saying, yeah, sis, go get that business, go get that money, get to it. But if you are surrounded by people that are saying, oh, you can't do this, oh, you can't do that, how in the hell are you going to do this? They're going to unmotivate you. Get you a new circle. Get you a new circle ASAP. Of like-minded individuals. You know what I'm saying? If you're a single parent, look at your kids. Look at your circumstances. Let it motivate you. You're either going to stay here or you're going to elevate yourself. Like Sierra said, level up. It's a new year. Get you a group of like-minded individuals. Get your motivation up. Because if you're unmotivated, you'll slap anything together and call it a business. You'll be doing everything these people that do kick, uh, get quicks, get quick, get rich quick schemes. You'll start doing those. It's gonna blow up on you. So, question I ask you guys: What's your motivation? What motivates you? To go to work, become an entrepreneur, get out the bed. To be a good parent, what's your motivation? What's the reason why? And if you can't answer that, you might want to reevaluate what you're doing. Because, like they say, faith without work is dead. <laughs> you're trying to put work in and you ain't motivated it doesn't work too well okay so I want you to write down a list of goals write down a list of things that motivate you to do what you're doing and also ask yourself this question if you decided to become an entrepreneur why are you still working a regular nine to five? Because you're cutting off your income, your income potential. Think about it. All the hours that you're putting in at this job, you could be working on your own business, making even more profits. So that's the question. What motivates you? Let me know in the comments what you decide. But don't forget to write them lists. Write your goals out. Make a vision board if you need to. And figure out what motivates you to hit the ground running. It's 2021, people. Let's make it a good ass year. But figure out what motivates you first. Is it money? Is it greed? Is it power? Is it your family? Is it bragging rights? Everybody got a different reason. Everybody got a different motivation. Mine is my kids and my mother. To never fail them. And honestly, right now, I have. So I have to reevaluate everything I'm doing, the people around me, to make sure I don't do it again. So I'm reevaluating what motivates me. What well, makes me go out and do what I do every day? It's a new year. New slate. Time for you to do the same. So that's the question. I want you guys to answer in the comments what motivates you to do what you're doing. All right. I look forward to your comments. Peace.